Hi everyone, welcome to Medicine on YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about disseminator intravascular coagulation. Disseminator intravascular coagulation is also known as defibrillar syndrome or conception coagulopathy. It is a complex thrombohemorrhagic disorder. It is generally what is disseminator intravascular coagulation means the small blood vessels which are present gets coagulated and it causes coagulation as well as it does not supply blood supply to the organs which is nearby. So disseminator intravascular coagulation is also known as defibrillar syndrome or conception coagulopathy. It is a complex thrombohemorrhagic disorder. What are the etiology? What are the causes of this intravascular coagulation disseminate? The massive tissue injury. When there is massive, there is big tissue injury in obstacle syndrome, example, abrasion of placenta. When the placenta gets abrupted, as well as aminotic fluid embolism. When the embolism is seen in the aminotic fluid, retain dead fetus after, after the massive trauma, the dead of the fetus is retained in the so it, it is also causes disseminated intravascular coagulation, metastatic malignancy and surgery. The infections are which causes this DIC which are endotoxicemia, septicemia, malaria and certain viral infection. The widespread endothelial damage, an aortic aneurysm, the hemolytic uricemia syndrome and severe burn. These are the widespread which causes endothelial damage due to this endothelial damage the blood gets clotted in those endothelium lining and this causes no blood flow to that and causes ischemic to the organs miscellaneous snake bite shock heat stroke acute intravascular hemolysis these are the etiology of this disseminated intravascular coagulation the pathogenesis of DAC is sequence of events uh, is seen in the DAC Activation of coagulation. The etiological factors initiate the widespread of activation of the coagulation pathway by the release of tissue factor. Due to the release of the tissue factor, that is the pathway of the coagulation gets activated. This is the first step sequence of this DIC. Thrombolytic phase, which is endothelial damage, various thrombogenic stimuli causes generalized platelet aggregation and adhesion throughout the microvasculature. This causes thrombolytic thrombotic phase, conception phase. The thrombolytic phase is followed by the phase of conception of coagulation factor and platelet. The second phase is central endo thrombolytic phase where there is endothelial damage is seen, various thrombogenic stimuli is generally platelet aggregation is seen, and the addition of the through the microvasculature. Conception phase. Thrombolytic phase followed by the phase of conception and the coagulation factor and platelets. The secondary fibrinolysis are the protective mechanism of the fibrinolytic system. It is a secondary fibrinolysis is a protective mechanism of the fibrinolytic system. Here, due to the intravascular coagulation, the secondary fibrinolysis gets activated. The secondary fibrinolysis causes the breakdown of fibrin. It this causes the fibrin breakdown. And there is formation of the fibrin degradation protein. Due to the breakdown of the fibrin, that is the degradation product which is just uh, uh, present in that area. Fibrin degradation product. Now you will see about the clinical features. These are the four steps which, are, which uh, says the pathogenesis of the disseminator intravascular coagulation. First one is activation of coagulation. Second one is thrombocytic phase. Third one is conception phase and third one, the fourth one is fibro secondary fibrolysis. The clinical features are bleeding time is most commonly manifestation, organ damage which is occurs in ischemia due to the small intravascular coagulation is done in the vascular channels so that there is ischemia seen as well as in, uh, the, in widespread the intravascular thrombosis such as kidney and brain. Less common manifestation include microangiopathy, hemolytic anemia and thrombosis in larger arteries and veins. Now you will see about the laboratory diagnosis. These are the clinical features. Lab diagnosis are platelet count is low, plasma fibrinogen level is low, thrombin as well as prothrombin level time is prolonged. When we check this two both the times it gets prolonged. The prothrombin as well as thrombin time. 
that's all the treatment of this disseminator intravascular coagulation is uh, blood transfusion thank you if you like this video please do like share and subscribe my youtube channel if you have any doubt in it please do comment it if you want more videos please do subscribe thank you